You ever go to YouTube for a tutorial to learn something really fast? Like I was trying to learn how to make this watermelon to a salmon like, you know, food. And people were like, why? I just wanted to try it. So I went to YouTube and this dude was like, all right, let's jump right into it. He talked for like five minutes and didn't say anything about cooking the watermelon. And so I was just like, does this happen to everybody else? Check this out. And this is what I saw when he did. Hello everybody. Welcome to Ross's Kitchen, and I'm Ross. Yes, and today we are cooking watermelon. And I know a lot of you are thinking, how do you cook watermelon? And I'm gonna teach you. And I know we're gonna make a salmon recipe out of it. It's gonna be mm, muy delicioso. All right, and I don't wanna waste a lot of time, so we're gonna jump right into it. So let's go. First, you're gonna to wanna to do is get some really sharp knives, okay? And if you don't have a sharp knife, have a sharpener so you can sharpen it all by yourself, right? You want these knives extremely sharp, okay? You wanna cut away from your, uh, yourself and not toward yourself. You know why I learned <laughs> the hard way. No, you always wanna cut away just to be safe, okay? You don't wanna saw, you wanna cut a good clean cut. That's how you take the watermelon into a salmon, okay? And we're gonna jump right into it like I was saying. Next, the most important thing is the watermelon. How was picked? Is it ripe? Is it ready? You see these? You see these markings and this whiteness and this yellow? That's how you know it's good. Listen, oh, nice and hollow. And you see this right here? When it's pushed in, that means they pulled it too soon. This wasn't pulled too soon. It was good, so it's gonna be nice and juicy. Oh, the sugars are moving in, they're gonna be great. And they're natural sugars, so you don't have to worry about nothing, right? So you gotta get you a good watermelon. Get you a good watermelon, make sure it's right, and you're gonna cut into it. You wanna cut into this thing. Remember, really sharp knives, okay? Really sharp, that's the most important thing. I already have some pre-cut watermelon here. Okay, so I'm gonna taste it first just to make sure. Mmm. Just like in my mama's garage when I was a little boy. Mm-hmm. We used to sit there, eat watermelon for hours. Mm-hmm. My uncle would come over, big old watermelons, cutting them up. No, 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 no. Mmm. Give it to us kids. We'd be eating. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it was good times. Good, good times. I remember back then, y'all should have been around. Whoever remembers, look, and they got the seeds too. That's how you know it's a real one, not that GMO fake crap. Mm, mm hmm, mm hmm. And every time you have a watermelon, what goes good watermelon? Alcohol. Get you a nice little wine cooler. Have you a sip. Because you can't cut no watermelon without having a sip and or a taste of what? Watermelon, you said it. So we're gonna cut into this, okay? But before we do, take a look at our sponsors. It's like, come on, man. Get to the cutting and the cooking of the watermelon. That's the whole reason I'm here. I don't care about none of that other stuff. <laughs> Tell me what y'all think. Have a great weekend.